Hey guys, so if you have been here on my channel for a while, um, you would know that I moved to Los Angeles in 2020 in June. When I first got here, I made a video on my living room floor before I had any furniture or anything. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to update you guys on my life. I have moved across the country during a whole entire pandemic. I've moved to LA. Just talking about my excitement about being in LA. So you can watch that video if you want, just for a little bit more context. After that, I did a three month update of how I like LA. Then I did like a six month one with my sister where we talked about all kind of things in LA such as dating and expenses. And so now it's been a year and a half. And so I thought it would be cool to really say what I really feel about LA. Not sugarcoating anything. Long story short about LA, I'm not like obsessed with it. And I always feel like I have to say that I love LA to people just because that's kind of what they would expect. But um, I like LA. It's really, really the good weather and like the opportunities. Is LA really worth it? I would answer that by saying it depends on what you're looking for. If you're an actor or an artist or somebody who's actively pursuing a career in the creative field, I think LA would be perfect for you, to be honest, because in this field, you're really one interaction and one connection away from someone who could potentially change your life. It happens all the time out here. I've seen it happen for people who I know, just meeting one person has completely like changed everything, opened up so many doors. So I, that pretty much happened anywhere, but I think specifically, with people who want to be actors or who want to be artists like you will have that opportunity here more so than you will anywhere else like even myself for example I'm not even someone who is actively pursuing a career in music I like music I I love to sing I've done it at a church like in there on the praise and worship team and just through that just kind of liking to sing I've had the opportunity to record song to get into a studio and record with people and write with people and have writing sessions and just kind of get some cool opportunities even though that wasn't I wasn't even actively pursuing it and so you can really just stumble into that here in LA and I don't know. I know in Michigan, I didn't have that experience. I know in DC, I would tell people I like to sing. I sang in a church choir, things like that never. I sang in a praise team. Things like this never happened. So I do think for that reason, LA is pretty amazing. But if you're just working a career that's not necessarily in like entertainment or you're not an artist per se, then you have to really ask why. Why do you want to live in LA? Why not live in Austin, Texas? Why not live in Orlando, Florida? Why not live in Chicago where your rent would really be cut in half? You know, like if there's not a specific reason that you need to be in LA, I just absolutely wouldn't do it. It's so expensive and it's, it's just, it, unless you have a specific reason and if you're saying it's for the beach, the beaches, you can't even have the full experience and full transparency in LA. You don't get the full beach experience because you can't get in the water unless one, you have a wetsuit or you just have like a high tolerance for freezing cold water, which some days I do. Some days I jump into the Pacific Ocean and then, you know, my ears are hurting <laughs> after that and I'm kind of in a lot of pain, but um, because it's just so cold and like I'm not used to it, but and it's like it really shocks the system, but sometimes it's really fun. Um, but I mean, there are better beaches warmer beaches in Florida. If it's about the beaches, this is just not the only place you can get that. And um, on top of that, if you're a person who doesn't like crowds or um, hates traffic, you are really gonna have a tough time being in LA because those are two things that you can guarantee at any time of the day, any week, you're gonna run into just a lot. Um, there's not a lot that you can just do quickly and easily. You know, you can't just, um, there's not a lot of parking lots, so you can't just like um, make a quick run to one place or another. I never have that experience. Nothing's ever just quick, unless you're going to like a CVS or something, but even that can turn into like a whole thing because it's super long lines and, you know, everything you're trying to do, a million other people are trying to do, so there's just not like a lot of 
low-key type of things. And this is my experience, so somebody could have come to LA and find all the little like low-key spots, but I just haven't. First, in my other video, I talked about how long do I see myself here. Um, I know my first video, I was like, you know, one to three years. That timeline is seeming pretty accurate. What's great about LA is the vibe. Being able to go to the beach, being able to go hiking, potential, um, like the connections, like such creative people out here. And it, it's really great to see people who are working towards something and just are thinking so big. It's cool to be surrounded by a bunch of creatives who want to get on board with what you're doing, but then also have things they're working on that you might want to get on board with so you know if that excites you 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 would really love it here but you have to know that it's so expensive and rent even if you're living by yourself oh it's just crazy it's crazy out here so if you don't need to be out here for a creative career just go to go to texas go to houston unless you have like a very very strong reason I wouldn't suggest it, and that's the tea. I think I can sum up LA into one sentence. LA is a land of potential. So, okay, I, I gave you the nice version. What I really have is LA is nothing but potential. However, that potential could be everything to someone. So, that's how I feel about it, but I will say I like it, I don't love it. And um, where to next? That's to be determined keep you guys updated but I hope this was somewhat helpful with anyone who wants to make a decision about whether they should move to LA or not so all right guys thanks for watching see you next week